Daniel began to see what God was telling him, and it got even greater. If you know anything about the Word of God, the manifestation in Matthew 24, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the building and the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, privately or privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Why did God bring us back here? He wants us to understand. We're so close to the coming of the Lord. We're so close and to many people don't even understand. And I want you to understand because that's what God is telling me to tell you. To set everything in order. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us what shall these things be or what shall be the, the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That's the time that we now live in. Deception is everywhere. People are trying to believe more in the president than they are in God. Without God, we can do nothing. What do you think he can do? Nothing. Not one thing. You've got to know God for yourself. For many shall come in my name and shall uh, sh name, note that, and say I am Christ and shall deceive many. Deception is everywhere in the land because someone is trying to show themselves as some great one. Oh my God. And I thought that to be interesting. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. He says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All of them are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise. You see that? And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Now that's deep. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? It's really deep. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 14, look what he says. Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepeth, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee life. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. This is the time we live in. Wicked, perverted, evil times. But he says, awake. And then he says, I, I love the word of the Lord, don't you? Where God began to speak to us. He ministers his word. I give God the praise for it because when God has something to say, the Lord is going to speak truth. And it's going to help so many people to get the understanding that they need and I want you to have that understanding especially now as we go into the broadcast of pray I'm going to make some announcements and one of the major announcements I'm going to make is this week I want to give you free passes to the great white throne judgment now those of you that's already saved to invite somebody that you know just tell them it's a ticket I don't have no cards up here with me I want you to forgive me but I want you to tell them, 
this is a ticket for you to get in. And you hand it to him. And as you hand that to him, say, now, you bring this to the door. And they'll come. And when they come, they're going to come and they're going to enter in. And we're going to have a play such as never been seen before. It's going to be a move of God. So I really want you to be a part of that and come and join us and be blessed of the Almighty God. In Jesus' name, I'm asking the Lord to bless you right now. In Jesus' name, i got to check something out. Something going on.